So it's been a few weeks since I posted on YouTube and with this video it becomes my 250th video so far on this channel. With that time I wanted to do something special for doing so many up until this point so I thought what would be better than to make it a community type of video. So what I decided to do is to go through every single comment on every single one of my videos from over the years and screenshot some of the best ones. I ended up sifting through thousands and thousands of comments as you could imagine and I picked a handful that deserved a little bit more attention but obviously I couldn't show everything because it would just make this video way too long so don't be disappointed if one of your comments isn't on here I literally am just showing a handful of the good ones but anyway let's go ahead and kick it off here so we are gonna start it off with one of the channel's biggest supporters I just call him Paco. He was talking about the fourth Battlefront game on my five most disappointing games made in recent memory video. And I'm glad he has the same view as me when it comes to that game. Because it's a very overrated game that most people just think is the best when in reality it's not. And here's another great comment by him. This one is from my The Truth About Twitch. It's time for change documentary, I guess you could call it. So yeah, thanks for the great comments, dude. And by the way, I am going to read some of these comments out loud because I don't know how the quality will turn out on some of these screenshots once I upload it on YouTube. So that's just worth mentioning. And also, I am going to try and talk a little bit faster so that we can get through some of these quickly. Next, we've got two positive comments from Sweating Bullets and Mason Hops. I believe these are from my It's Official video when I was accepted into the partner program for YouTube. So, I just appreciate the positivity from these guys. Up next, we have a comment from Ash. And it's one of my favorite comments ever across anybody's comment section that I've ever seen. It's a tragedy, but we will never see this level of love and detail put into games again. Especially Call of Duty titles, which are made deliberately to last only a year at most after launch. This selfish formula will destroy their own franchise and unfortunately inspire other corporate freaks to do the same. I'm pretty sure this was from my Modern Warfare 2 is unplayable on Xbox One video or it could be from my top 25 shooter game since 1999 video. Uh, not really sure which one it was but hey man thanks for the great comment. And up next we have a comment from Joseph. Pretty sure this one was from my MW2 no multiplayer reaction video for the remastered version of MW2. And here's a great comment from Lucas R. This was from one of my mouse and keyboard cheater videos. People that play with mouse and keyboard on console or people that can't play against PC players, clearly scum that can't accept the fact that they are bad. He's speaking the truth. I don't know what else to say about that one. But I also decided to show this entire conversation because I really like the comment at the bottom as well. And here's a comment from the same video, I believe, from Bongo Cat. Definitely a comment worth putting in the spotlight. And up next we have a comment from one of the haters on Battlefront, Fox Scout Commander. I'm not going to show his main comment at the top because that's not the one that I wanted to highlight here. But the one that I did want to highlight is from Mason. I'm not sure if it's the same account from earlier that I highlighted. But uh, at the very bottom, Mason says, Fox Scout, you're a weirdo taking an old ass game so serious. Oh my god, it's like you're fucking related to a Matic Jesus Christ. I love that comment. If you guys don't know the reference to that one, I suggest you look up some of my CSGO videos or check out my CSGO playlist. And here we have a comment from Game Boy from my How to Spot Mouse and Keyboard Cheaters on Console video. My reply to him was, In the gaming industry, there is a word that is obeyed by all. This word is also a practice religion by all gaming companies. This evil religion goes by the name of greed, and they all want the magic color called green. And then at the very bottom we have a comment from Craig McCauley, one of the better comments I've seen on that video as well, so shout out to him. I'm going to read this comment out loud just to put more emphasis on it. I feel that this will just hurt console gaming in the long run, one of the biggest incentives for me playing is the belief that we are all playing on the same playing field. If people start abusing it to the point that a controller user is the minority, then I'll be more inclined to going to PC and just use mouse and keyboard. 
That one comment really sums up how majority of the console community feels about this subject. And I really want to address this again right here. I've said this before. I honestly believe this will ruin console gaming in the long run. Over the next 10 years, I would not be surprised if majority of the community does what Craig said. And next thing you know, Xbox or PlayStation could end up destroying themselves with this. Going for the profits instead of doing what's best for the community, I promise you it will cost them in the long run if they continue to allow cheaters to ruin their own platform. And up next is a comment from probably my favorite person I've ever had the privilege to play with. He was my right hand guy on Modern Warfare 2. He was part of the longest streak in Call of Duty history with me a few years back on that game. And he was one of the three members of the 300 Monster just tearing up lobbies with me back then. He is also the only person that could out shit talk me once I really got going in Modern Warfare 2 game chat. Some of you guys might know him as Shark, and just to give you guys a heads up of what you're about to witness here in the next few minutes, Shark, <clears throat> Austin, loves to occasionally go through dozens of my videos at a time, confronting the haters one by one in the comments section. I'm telling you, it's one of the funniest damn things. If you ever watch some of my future videos that I make, look for this motherfucker in the comments replying to the no life haters. It will make your day if you're a fan of the channel, trust me. Moving along, here's a comment from no More for you Man, I hope to God MW2 will be a thing next year, not gonna lie. Kind of disappointed with the new Call of Duty. They should have brought back MW2 Remastered for the 10-year anniversary. Yeah, man, that's a great comment. Thank you. But unfortunately, that still has not happened up until the present time. And here's a comment from Mega. You're a good YouTuber, you deserve more subs. I love watching the old school games. Thank you, dude. I don't get uh, too many comments like that from people. Usually people just want to see the new games, but thank you again. And here's a comment from Shooter at the 23 minute mark. That's why you're the best player in the entire game. The 360 triple kill earlier in the video somewhere was insane too. I'm gonna miss watching you play this game, bro. Nobody was better at it, nobody, but I understand you have to move on from it. Game hardly gets any attention now. Yeah, man. Appreciate the uh, high praise, but uh, uh, who knows? Maybe I'll make a couple more videos on that game. And here's another comment from a different Mega, I believe. I just encountered you, my friend. I was that short trooper that sucked. That's a great comment, dude. Here's a comment from OC5s. This guy used to comment on all my Battlefront videos a few years ago. I'm not sure what happened to him. Maybe it was because I stopped uploading Battlefront videos, but hey, OC5s, if you're out there watching this, I'd love to see you comment on some more of my videos. I'm going to miss watching you, man. I loved your videos. You were the reason I got this game. I remember when I first got into a match with you, and I was like, holy shit, this guy's cracked. Hope you post a few more in the future. Thank you, dude. And with this comment, we have a hater just hating on me just because he can. No surprise there. Wonder why that is, but you know what? Let's just save that for Austin. Austin's going to handle everything here. At the very bottom, Brian F. Shut the fuck up with your hating bitch ass. I've seen this dude's numerous videos, and he plays with many different styles. Sounds like you just play like shit, and you feel the only way to get back at the guy who has killed you multiple times is to try coming at him with complete bullshit in his comment section. I'm sure MRG appreciates the view count anyways, so your attempt at degrading him is actually helping him even more laughing my ass off. Sit, child. Wow. Can't sum it up any better than that, dude. What a great comment. And Austin is right about the view count going up. Not only does the hater give me a free view, but him putting in a comment only helps even more. One comment can bring in an additional 10 plus views sometimes. That's how YouTube's algorithm works in case you didn't know. And just to prove Brian wrong, I have 132,478 kills with infantry based guns divided by my total kills on the game comes out to about 52.5% of my kills on the ground with infantry guns. And on top of that, 13,754 kills are with star cards equipped or picked up. So, in other words, I have 146,232 gun and star card kills on the game. 
divided by my total kills, it comes out to 58.02%. So nearly 60% of my kills are infantry guns. The other 40% is with heroes, ground vehicles, or air vehicles. So apparently, I'm good at all aspects of the game if he's bitching about the other things. And here's another great comment by a former regular, Darf Sky Rodos. Haven't seen this guy in a long time, but uh, he's put in some great comments on my channel before, so thanks to you, man. And here's a good comment by Lee from my Battlefront Q&A video. I'm pretty sure I know who Lee is, but I'm also pretty sure he doesn't want me to say who he is, or his screen name, whatever, on Xbox Live. Anyways, thanks, I appreciate your videos, man. I still play this game a lot, and I appreciate you still putting videos out there. You have a great insight and a really good understanding towards the game itself. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Hey, thanks, Lee. And here's another MW2 comment by Florida KG. I wish they would remaster MW2 for Xbox One so we could all play the old maps and the old guns and the kill streaks with no glitching, no people floating around. This is the best Call of Duty in history. Yes, it is. This comment is from about three years ago. It came from one of my first 15 or so uploads. It was a video talking about how poor the Battlefront 4 heroes were, and the comment came from Napoleon. And let me just say, I think it's possible somebody from EA actually saw that video and changed some things that I mentioned. Because about two years later, most of the heroes got a massive buff on that game. So it's possible somebody listened for once because of that video, but who knows. And here's a comment from somebody that was playing GTA. His bad sport timer was at zero hours and zero minutes. He was stuck. I just had to throw this comment in the video. And here's a comment from Gage37. He told me he respected the dedication after I told him what I was doing for this video. And here's another fantastic comment from Austin. I'm not going to bother reading this one for obvious reasons, but if you want to read it, go ahead and pause the video. He was just going off on some guy that has no life, and it was deserved. I decided not to show that Virgin's comments in this screenshot, but after Austin made him look like a little bitch, the pussy never bothered even replying back, which is fitting for a person like him. Now here's a comment from Leo M. I've never seen this guy in the comments before, based off my memory, but it's one of the best comments I've ever had from somebody on YouTube. This comment was on one of my Cold War videos, I believe. Leo, I hope you subscribed because I can't wait to read more comments from you. I kind of broke the rules for this comment. This was off of Twitch by one of my first followers. I'm not sure what happened to him. It's been a long time, but I hope things worked out for him. And this comment made my day, so I had to put it in the video. And in what way could I possibly wrap up this video better than this? Thanks, Brendan, and thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. This is why I read the comments section right here because of all the good ones. One good comment beats out a hundred bad ones, and I'm very serious when I say that. Thanks for helping me create more content to showcase, and I'll see you all real soon with more videos coming up.